Hello, calm parents. Welcome back to Parenting Teens with Dr. Cam. I'm your host, Dr. Cam. And today I'm here with Heather Glenn. And Heather is a self-proclaimed HR mom and the founder of Aligned Ambition. And you really, I want to go up a little bit and just read your bio. So you spent most of your adult life struggling to choose and pursue a meaningful career. After finding clarity, an immense desire to share your knowledge and research grew into helping others by aligning their personality, interests, and values with meaningful careers. And today we're going to talk about how do we help our teens do that? Because so much of us, so many of us are struggling with motivating our teens Mm -hmm. because they don't have a, they don't have any vision. So welcome, Heather. Thank you for joining me. Oh, thank you so much. It's wonderful to be here. I have a high school junior myself, so I am in the thick of it right now. So yeah, it is. It is. I'm getting a lot of calls and I have a, I have a freshman too. So I experience this every day as well. So I think this is going to be really helpful for me too on, you know, how, first of all, how, tell us a little bit about your story and a little bit more about how you got into this. Sure. Oh, thank you. Um, I'd love to share that. It is a little bit of a embarrassing tale, to be honest <laughs> to you, with you. The best Just, ones start that way. <laughs> what's that? I said the best stories start that way. <laughs> I mean, to give my um, employee record or work history is a little embarrassing because I just went through so many different avenues. I I really didn't understand, you know, how to go about this quest that I had to figure it out. And what I ended up doing was just kind of mimicking what I saw other people do or their recommendations. I just really didn't have a foundation to make career choices. And so Mm -hmm. once I kind of really started to understand how to do this, I just felt so inspired that we need to get better support out there for I I immediately felt so strongly about, you know, our younger people, just because it's so different now, you know, when I don't think my parents knew one thing about one thing, (laughs) one thing I did for college, (laughs) they they didn't check an essay or, I mean, it was just so different. And so, you know, I wanted to make sure I, as a parent um, felt equipped. I mean, how was I to teach my kids if I didn't understand it myself. And I felt that burden and I really wanted to help other people to alleviate the, that stress and anxiety that comes along with making this, what feels like such a huge decision at such a very young age. Yeah, Yeah, very much so. And I think a lot of, you know, a lot of kids right now are so unmotivated, especially with online school and everything else. And, you know, I talk to teens, including my daughter, and they're like, why are we learning this? Like, this is so painful (laughs) and I'm getting up every day and I don't understand why. And then as parents, we're so focused on making sure their grades are good so they can get into a good college, so they can get a good job, but we don't really understand or they don't understand. We don't even understand what that good job is. So getting good grades for some unforeseen vague future yeah. <laughs> is not very motivating right? for sure for sure yeah i i see the same thing myself i mean this is something i hear from my kids and and from and from clients as well is you know why this is all pointless you know this feels pointless and so it's really really powerful to have something that you're excited about in the future that you're aiming toward I mean, we all, it's that kind of carrot dangling in front of you, but to have some sense of what you hope for in the future. um, And that can be a challenge for younger people because they only know what they're exposed to. You know, they only know Mm -hmm. the professions that maybe their friends' parents or their parents or their uncles or their aunts or, you know, whoever they're related to might have. So it's really about expanding their view and helping them to understand kind of how it works. But most importantly, um, my opinion is the very best thing that we can do for our kids is to really help them understand themselves Mm -hmm. more clearly so that they have a really good grasp of what their natural inclinations are in terms of strengths and 
that they may not be necessarily what we think, like they may be different. You know, we, a lot of times parents think of our kids as one way, but haven't they surprised you already? I mean, they're, they're going to continue to surprise us. And so we can kind of just help them discover on their own and recognize this is a fluid process. This isn't, this isn't just a, you know, one answer, only right answer, multiple choice question kind of process. This is a, a very fluid process. So it's giving that foundation to help them understand, you know, how to choose things that are a good fit and how to um, create a path forward that is meaningful to them. I I love that you say that too, that it's so fluid because um, a lot of parents that I talk to will say, you know, well, they don't know what they want. I know what is good out there. So they kind of direct and steer them into specific career paths that they think are smart career paths with great intentions. Like we want to make sure that our kids are doing something that's stable, that they're going to be able to support themselves. The problem is the teens feel like they're getting pushed into something that they're not motivated to do. Mm -hmm. And they feel like they need to, to, to appease their parents And so they're feeling like despondent about their future going, oh my God, this is my future. This, this doesn't interest me at all. But parents are like, but you know, they want to be a YouTube star and they want to do, you know, and they don't even like to talk to people and they want to, but they want to do this, be an influencer, or they want to be a gamer, or they want to do these things that they're like, it's so impractical. And so they like shut down what their dreams are and say, that's not good do this and how do we help our teens understand and find what they're good at beyond just well you know everyone's an influencer so I'm going to be an influencer like how do we help them figure out what their strengths are and what the possibilities are for them Mm -hmm. I have I have a couple things to say about this point one is you know from time to time I've had a parent approach me and say you know, I really want my child to go into this particular field. Can you please help steer them in that way? And I'll say, that's not really, you know, how it works. (laughs) That's not what I do. Um, So um, I think it is important to let our kids have some sense that this is their decision. Mm -hmm. You know, they are, they are not going to be happy or invested if they don't feel ownership over this choice. Yeah. So I, I'll just give you an example of somebody that said, my child wants to do this particular degree or this particular field. I am not seeing it for this child and they are mm-hmm. just set on it, you know? And so I, my approach in that situation is let's explore that. Let's dig in and let's, let's see what you find out. Let's see how, how exciting this is for you. You know, I want, let's, let's just say YouTube star since that's so you know, yeah, start it, start it, do it. I want you to do it every single day Mm -hmm. and give them a taste because that is not an easy thing. It looks easy from the outside for the success stories, but you know, sometimes these things that's, that feel impractical to us as parents, there is no better time than as a teenager to say, go for it. Mm -hmm. Like right now, make that a priority. If that's, there's nothing holding you back from giving that a try. This particular person that I was referring to, her field was not something you could do that with that you could just try. Yeah. And so we said, my challenge to her was, I want you to um, get some YouTube videos and I want you to send me the links and I want you to tell me what you learned. And it just, she had no interest in it as time went on. It was right. this idea that really resonated with her or it made her feel a certain way or, but it really, when it came down to it, it really wasn't what she wanted. So I'd say that is one key Mm -hmm. thing is to really let them explore. And a big thing for me as well is talking to people in various fields, giving them that increase of exposure. Mm. And that's something where I've, I've had a lot of resistance from my clients um, because I'll say, you need to go find somebody to talk to, to interview And so actually recently I started a podcast where I interview, I've been interviewing people in tons of different positions and it's just a resource for kids to go and say, to just get some information and also really models 
what they can do when they want to go talk to somebody else that is in their circle. And so it's a great little thing for them to do, but it really is about at the end of the day, understanding not just a field of interest, but what is the type of work that's required in this role? What am I doing day to day? How do my days look? And how do I match up with that? Am I really able to showcase the strengths that I have? And um, those will be a an asset to me in this position. And is it going to set me up for, can I see a path that sets me up for a lifestyle that that I desire because there's so many factors and, you know, I'll have to say too, that we don't know, we don't have a crystal ball, right? I mean, no, I mean, the career I went into originally didn't even exist when I was in college. Cause it was, you know, it was like online and there was no online when I was in college. Exactly. So we don't know what's going to be available down the road. So following what they love right now, Mm -hmm. is probably the best thing because eventually yeah. it's going to lead them to what they love and then they're going to be excited about it right now. Right? right. Right. And if they have a solid sense of their aptitudes and their, um, the types of work that they enjoy, they have a solid sense of that, then as they need to pivot or if, because we know that the workforce coming in the coming decades are, is going to change. That's mm -hmm. a lot. very well published. And we know that because technology, we've seen it already through the pandemic, how it's changing things. So just like we didn't know 20 years ago, the jobs, a lot of the jobs today, they're saying this next revolution is even going to be more massive. So wow. I try to wrap my brain around it. Sometimes it's hard for me to fully understand, <laughs> but I didn't really understand what the internet was before I saw it. So <laughs> I still don't understand what it is. <laughs> and so, you know, I think, um, we just have to, the best thing we can do is really help our kids develop that solid sense mm -hmm. of who they are. And that will give them the confidence that they need, first of all, to walk away from the job that's not good for them, to take the path that they need to take, to know what they need to do to make a big impact. That's what, when you really learn your strengths, that's what you're learning. You're learning how to make the most impact with the least amount of effort. Mm -hmm. And that is, it gives you a, a tremendous sense of momentum and ability to continue to go forward and take new risks. Like if you have that solid foundation, you're not worried about appearing bad or um, looking, you know, maybe like you don't have it all together or whatever. You're willing to put yourself out there in different ways. And as a professional, that's important as well. Mm -hmm. Personally and professionally, that's important. So for me, that is kind of the overall aim of what my work is, is to help people develop that solid sense of who they are and, and what they want and what works for them in terms of um, types of work, what they value and what their strengths are. Yeah. And I think that's important too, because, you know, parents will be like, yeah, but they want to be this, this week. And then next week they're going to be somewhat something else and they're going to be all over the place. And I'm like, that's great. Go with it. Whatever they are today, go with it because, and explore what it is about that, that they love. Yes. Right. Because we yes. don't know at the end of the day, what jobs are going to be there. So there may be something you love and you, something you don't. Now you said the podcast, um, that talks to all these different careers, which I think is phenomenal. And I want my daughter to listen to it. So where do I find this? Yeah. Um, anywhere you want, I guess, listen, I mean, it's on iTunes. What's it called? Um, it's called career convos and okay. with aligned ambition. And so I've probably done about a dozen so far. I just started it at the beginning of the year. Um, as I realized this was such a problem, it's like, I've just got to help these kids get it moving. a little bit here. Yeah. So um, it's been a lot of fun. I actually really enjoy it. And so interesting. I've talked to a lot of really interesting people about different things that different careers that I never even thought of. So, yeah, you know, there's so many, I think part of this is like, when I think about this, I think, oh my gosh, there's so many careers. How am I ever going to reach them all? <laughs> you know? Yeah. So, yeah. um, but you know, a little, uh, it'll come, it keeps coming. I, I release, I release them every week. So it's, 
it's definitely something to tune into if you're undecided and trying to figure out it's a great, a great resource for that, for sure. And to your point about um, listening to what they, what they want to do and really exploring that and saying, great, like, and, and using that as a learning experience, what do you like about it? And what didn't you like about it? Those are wonderful questions to ask. You know, we put our kids in the school system and they just go through these steps and to our kids point, sometimes like I have a hard time arguing with them, something that don't, they they do seem pointless to me. And I'm like, I've never used that. So I don't know. (laughs) Yeah. And so I do think there is some value to giving some life to some of these other ventures. Mm -hmm. Um, that they are, and if they have an interest, oh my gosh, like, let's explore that. I feel like as a parent, that's one of the best gifts we can give them. And I'm a big believer in passion projects because our kids without having a lot of experience, they don't really have a lot to draw upon Mm -hmm. in order to answer these questions. And so, um, I don't know, do you know what a passion project is? No, explain that. Okay. Well, I mean, it's, it's basically an interest and you develop a project around that interest. And Mm -hmm. so it could be, you know, a month long project. It could be a year long project. It could be starting a YouTube channel, but it's very, it's an intentional process of, of how you can explore a certain field or a certain thing, but you document it and you make it so that people can reference it. Like you could put it on a resume, a link to it or, wow. and it's a tremendous tool for them. Even, even besides the fact, like I recommend using it for applications and essays, and it is the most powerful thing you can do for your team mm-hmm. is to help them really dive into something that they care about. And they can learn so much about themselves. Like you're talking about what they enjoy, what aspects they didn't enjoy, where did they feel a tremendous sense of satisfaction? There's so many things that can be revealed. It's also showing that they have initiative and that they have ambition. And then they're doing something completely without it being, you know, pressed upon them, you know? So it's just a really powerful tool. I actually have a mini course for that. I'm not trying to plug everything. No, but but no, but uh, you know, this is something I want to jump in real quick and I want to learn how to do that because where to get that because so many kids and parents are worried about their kids' motivation. Parents aren't, our kids aren't motivated. And what I'm finding is because they have no purpose. Like every day, especially during this pandemic is exactly the same and it sucks. It's a sucky day every day. And they have nothing that they're looking forward to. They have no measure of success other than these A's or B's that they're struggling to get. And, you know, if they're not getting the A's or B's, the few things they love get taken away until they get A's and B's, which (laughs) is very demotivating. Um, So having this passion project where it's something that they can wake up to every day and Mm -hmm. get excited about, for the parents worried about their kids' motivation and mental health, oh my gosh, this is a great solution. So yeah. how do we get that? <laughs> well, I, I, I have a mini course that walks you through the steps and it has some examples of some that adults have done and some that yeah. a teenager has done. My son right now um, has started not, com- I don't know if it's composing music, like mixing music. Like it doesn't have to be something dramatic. Like people are like, well, what you have to start a charity? I mean, it could be, it could be, this is really about self-exploration and Mm -hmm. it is something that is completely your own and you get to totally own it and document it. That's a really important piece is learning to document it and share it. And Mm -hmm. so that it's useful and pulling and being intentional about, you know, what, what, do I want to develop? What skills am I wanting to develop it through this process? And then reflecting on it after, what did I learn? What, what aptitudes did I not realize I had? What surprised me? There's just so many things we can learn. And I agree, like right now, our kids are just being drained, drained, mm-hmm. drained. And this is something that should light them up. This is something that should give them a sense of 
real satisfaction. Yeah. So I know I had one client that she started, this was um, in the fall, but she went around and started um, collecting plant specimens hmm. and did a whole blog. She started a whole blog about these different plants and and what like finding a plant and what it had an old medicinal about. I mean, it's it's whatever you want, oh. you know. So I, that's exciting to me, and I feel like it can breathe life into some of some of these kids that really feel stuck yeah. right now. Which are a lot of them, and I and I think one of the cool things too is it doesn't even have to be an existing field. I mean, the world yeah. is so cool right now. You can make up your career at this point. For sure. So many people it, do it. Is, and I know sometimes parents will resist me saying things like that. Mm -hmm. um, I have one client right now that she loves, um, she loves being physical. Like she, she has a lot of energy. And so she like a desk job just sounds really not Terrible. fun for her. <laughs> um, she's really good at working with people. Anyway, we're exploring different options. And, you know, I have another friend that he's a physical therapist, but he uses horses with his special needs clients and has developed this whole business using horses. So I said, what about implementing bring, cause she loves animals. What about mm -hmm. bringing animals and making that part of your practice? It may not even be your whole practice, but it's all about, like you said, tailoring it to where your strengths lie. So if you love those animals and you love those people and you can bring that together, how powerful is that? Nobody does so, that. Or look I don't at know anybody yoga. That that. Who came up with goat yoga? I mean, right? right? <laughs> going, I'm going to start a goat yoga place. I mean, that's <laughs> why. And then it took off. Who knew? Yeah. So like yeah. Nature, the child is going to be discover the next goat yoga or whatever. <laughs> yeah. I mean, before previous in previous generations, it was really about replicating what other mm -hmm. generations had done. This is all new territory. This is cool. creativity. Mm -hmm. This, the creative mind, that ability to think independently, problem solve, be resilient. That's why there's so much talk about resilience is, yeah. You know, these are the skills, they're new skill sets that we need for the future. And it's exciting. And um, I think it gives an awesome opportunity for people really to express themselves more authentically than ever before. Yeah, know? that's amazing. So Heather, how do we find you, work with you and get these, this stuff for our teens? Sure. Yeah. All of it is on my website, which is alignedambition.com. So that's, I'm also Instagram as well, but obviously um, the website has all the links to the courses and my, all my information there. So perfect aligned ambition. Go, and we'll put the link in the show notes and on here as well. So before we go, any last words of encouragement or, or advice for parents with teens? Yeah, I would just say, you know, hang in there. We are all doing this together. I, you know, sometimes when I'm speaking to people, I think they probably think I have this all figured out. And, you know, each one of our kids are different and we're doing the best that we can and give our kids the grace that they're probably doing the best, believe yes. that they're probably doing the best that they can as well. And one last thing is that I really believe is that the greatest way you can show an increase in love for your teen is to believe in them. Mm. It increases love a million times. And sometimes that's hard when your child is a little different than you, or you don't see eye to eye. But if you don't show that belief in them, you know, who will? And do you want that person or that influence to be the one that believes in them? It, you want it to be you. And so that's, those are the two kind of closing remarks. I would those have. are great remarks. I love, love, love those. And yes, believe if you're not going to believe in your child, who will? So that is, that's powerful. So thank you so much for Heather, for jumping on with me. I really appreciate it. Yes. Thank you so much. And thank you parents for jumping on. I know you guys are really busy. So appreciate the time that you spend with us. If any of these nuggets that Heather shared with us are helpful, which, oh my gosh, so many were, um, please like, comment, 
share with a friend that could also use this information would greatly appreciate that. And remember, if you want more of this great insight, we have power hours, parenting teen power hours every first and third Tuesday from 7 to 8 p.m. Eastern time. And you can find more about that at askdrcam.com slash power hour. Have a beautiful, peaceful, calm day.